We've travelled to Asquith Butler and we're here today to look at the Power Centre 500. This isn't a vertical machining centre and it's not a horizontal machining centre. It's a universal machining centre and it comes in various different configurations. The configuration we've come to see today is the twin zone mill turn table. And this machine is actually available X stock. So let's go and have a look. So Paul, tell us about the machine we've come to see today, the Power Center 500. Yeah, the, uh, the Power Center 500 is a horizontal uh, universal machining center. Uh, it's got a spindle capacity of uh, 50 kilowatts. Uh, and the configuration we have uh, downstairs uh, on the shop at the moment is uh, 8 metres in X, 2 metres in Y and 1.5 metres in Z. It's got uh, automatic head changing, so with a 1 degree uh, uh, head which is uh, capable of 2,000 newton metres and fifth, transmitting 50 kilowatts. So if, when we say universal machining centre, we are talking about a machine that you can turn, you can mill, you can do positional uh, milling, five axis milling, absolutely everything. Yeah. We've uh, just uh, introduced the mill turn option on, onto this machine and uh, we have a, a 3 metre 30 tonne capacity 100 rpm turning table uh, with, uh, which is 60 kilowatts in power which is, uh, we get that from the two uh, 30 kilowatt asynchronous uh, Siemens spindle motors. So would you use the, the table if you were machining rings or uh, sort of, I don't know, large diameter parts you'd machine the outside diameter, like a vertical lathe? A bit like a vertical lathe, uh, mainly on the horizontal application to do ODs rather than IDs uh, and then uh, we can put the milling head on and, and then mill various different pockets and, and uh, uh, facets on the particular around the component, outside around the, the outside of the component because we can not only use the machine, the table for turning but also for positioning very accurately within 10 microns at, at, at 3 metre radius. So you could, you could lock the table in we position? Could, we can lock it in position, we can hold it in live servo, uh, whatever the customer wants to do with it. If he wants to do uh, heavy milling on there we'd lock the table in position. Uh, if he wants to do light milling, we can ho hold it in, in live servo, really. And then, so that's on a turning side. So from the, just from the milling perspective, you've got a, uh, a table, um, a, a floor, you've got a travelling column machine with the, the, the floor table where you can locate the parts and then you can machine five axis, three axis or four axis on that side of the machine. Yeah, we can, uh, we can, we can machine off, off the fixed work plate uh, using the... Uh, the one degree head, which is capable of, of positioning in the A axis and the C axis. Uh, but then if we want to do full prismatic machining, you'd put it on the rotary table and use it as an indexing table to, to present any facets around the, the component. And I think it's important to mention this machine is actually assembled here and a lot of the manufacturing is done in the UK. Yeah, most, most of the manufacturing of the, even the major components, the structural elements, the beds, the, ta the table, the column and the RAM are all manufactured within our group companies, machined within the group companies and we use here uh, obviously to assemble uh, the final, do the final assembly here. And the machine we're looking at here today is actually available X stock? Yes, uh, we, we've done quite a lot of development work using this machine to develop the uh, mill turn capability because uh, the turning table was the last uh, uh, part uh, of the jigsaw really. Uh, so this machine is now available X stock in its current format of uh, 8 metres by 2 metres by 1.5 uh, with a 1 degree auto indexing head and if you want an uh, inline head, automatic head changing, uh, 80 pocket tool changer, uh, probing, many sure RMP60 probe. Uh, work plates, uh, swarf conveyor, internal and external coolant. So a pretty That's comprehensive... Fairly comprehensive machine, ready ready to, to go. go. So, uh, it is capable of being extended if, if somebody wants a longer x-axis traverse, which we could, we could go up to 20 or 30 metres, depending on how long you want to go. So what sort of company would actually invest in a machine tool of this 
type? We're, we're looking for uh, pump and valve manufacturers. We, we see that as uh, one of the, the biggest markets for this type of, uh, of machine as uh, earth mover equipment uh, and also uh, some military equipment on uh, armoured vehicles and, and uh, companies like that really. Tell us about the three areas of your business's activity. The three areas of uh, business activity are new and used machine sales, refurbishment and retrofitting of existing uh, machines and also spares and servicing for again existing machines. So the refitting and the refurb, have you got an ex extensive workshop where, where that Yes, uh, everything uh, was done. We, we prefer to bring the machines uh, back to our workshop so we can uh, give them a complete overhaul. Uh, it's all depending on what the customer wants, uh, but we can give full mechanical and electrical uh, refurbishment. Uh, we just have a project in now which is round about £400,000-£450,000, which is a full and electrical retrofit of a, a large travelling gantry machine, the Star Cut 250 travelling gantry. Uh, some customers, uh, the, these machines are very robust and, and uh, this one in fact has been, uh, it's been around 24 years in, in, uh, in production uh, and uh, it offers a, quite a comprehensive uh, way of getting a cost effective uh, way of getting them back in to a more modern machine. Uh, you know, we were looking at a third of the cost of a, of a new machine to have one fully fully mechanically and electrical retrofit. And then it would come with a warranty? A full, yeah, a full 12 month warranty on, on all the parts that we replaced, uh, control system and, and all the mechanical parts, yes. Yeah. More or less just like a new machine by the time it's finished. With 2014 just started, what's your expectations for the year ahead? Very good. The way it started is extremely strong. We've had a lot of inquiries uh, and we're hoping to capitalise on quite a few of those. We're getting quite close to um, getting orders placed for new machines and uh, refurbished machines as well. Uh, so I'm very, very optimistic for, for this year. Uh, it's been the, the best start to a new year in certainly in the last three or four years. There's certainly a positive vibe surrounding manufacturing at the moment in the UK. Are you seeing that play out here? All our companies that we go into, all our customers, uh, I should say 95% um, of them are, are really, really busy. And they've all got uh, strong order books and they have money to spend. Uh, so I think uh, we're looking to a very good uh, uh, 2014.